In question 12, we're given this shape on this grid. So if you go along, you go along the x-axis, so that's along the corridor. And when you go up, you go along the y-axis, which is up the stairs. And we're asked to translate this shape. So point A moves to 7, 8. And with this, the first number stands for the x coordinate and the second number stands for the y coordinate and remember x is horizontal or along and y is up and down the page so let's get to seven you always start at the origin this here is the origin this just means where does it start from? The whole grid originates from here. Now we need to travel 7 in the x direction. So let's go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So I've done that bit. Now I need to travel 8 in the y direction from here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, there. So they've said that this point has moved to there. And the coordinates for that point are 7, 8. Now if you look at this, point A has moved there. So where would the rest of the shape be? So look, if I go 1, 2, I can find this corner or this vertex. So let me go back. 1, 2. Now I've got this corner here. Now what I need to do is how do I find this? I go down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So I go down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now I can go from there, straight down there. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So I can do the same thing here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So now that shape and that shape are looking similar now. Now how do I find this point? So I have to go 1 across and 2 up. To make this point so from here I go one across and one two up there you go so I simply join this up and to complete the shape I join that up so if you can see that shape has now moved to there and that's how I draw it there so what I want you to know to find the coordinate of this point you know it's going to have an x coordinate and a y coordinate and x is along the corridor so let me write that down and y is up and down the stairs and this is called a coordinate pair so let me write that down here And why is it a pair? Because there's one, two parts to it. And remember, it's always in alphabetical order. The X comes first and then the Y. 